But if the woman that you're supposedly marrying is listening to this, if someone can get this to her, just run. Just run away. This is not a safe situation. This isn't good. Within six months to a year, he's going to have you tied up. You're only going to be down to a very small meal every day. You're going to have to sexually please him on the regular, whatever his weird fetishes are. And then he's going to skin you, probably wear you around the house. So just get out, run, get out of the situation. Because you're such a descriptive talker that everything you're saying, I'm like literally seeing in my head. It's really well, fun. Oh, and we feeling all right? Yeah, yeah I'm just going to get some air. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking crazy high though. Okay, you want this me to? Is... You want more, more water? Yeah. Okay, nice. let's do some water. Yeah. Fuck. I told you, you want to leave too. I saved you because I like you, man. Well, that his voice changed a little bit, and I know he stays. In the My dad fucked my godfather. My dad gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to male prostitutes. My dad threatened to kill himself my whole childhood. Some other good news. A lot of good things happening. My dad fucked my godfather. He's a wizard. My dad gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to male prostitutes. I've forgiven him. That wizard fucking retard. My dad threatened to kill himself my whole childhood. He stole a hundred thousand dollars from my mother. Mark the devil. Ah! Don't take the ticket. My dad fucked Ben Shapiro. My dad fucked God. My dad's a damaged, selfish, empty piece of human shit. My dad threatened to kill himself my whole childhood. Ah! Don't take the ticket. What's up, guys? Davey Krakow, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, someone said Jim Bob won. Uh, first off, thank you for uh, donating. Uh, there's no winners in this. There are no winners in this realm of Bertardia, Bertari, uh, retards. You can't win. Now, what we're going to talk about is why Owen can't keep friendships. We can go through the list. Now, I have a PhD. It wasn't in psychology, but it doesn't take one to know that he has major father issues. So he's been searching for an internet daddy since he came on the scene as an actor from Hollywood, which was your first clue not to listen to him. So he jumped around. Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro. You guys can name some more people. Jim Bob. Uh, name anybody that you want. And all those relationships broke. And it was always the other person's fault. Now, I agree with Owen that all those people suck. The problem is, he told everybody those people were awesome. Those people were, you know... The things he said about Crowder were just absolutely insane. You know, this guy's the, the a great man. And it took about one minute for him to be convinced that he was a homosexual. And all this came from a debate they agreed on about the Trinity. Jim Bob versus Owen. So we'll get into that. Okay, enough with the age restrictions on videos. Who cares about it? Um, yeah, Felix said, rather talk about last night's stream. I'm going to have that guy on again. Sometimes you just need to take a break uh, from some of the serious stuff and just kind of, you know. Oh, I can't sign in here. You guys will actually see how censored I am. 
if I try to sign into YouTube normally, they just send me to a screen that says unable to access a Google product. That's how censored I am. So VPN on. I mean, it's really insane what I have to do to watch a video that's age restricted. But I do agree the sentiment of people like this isn't serious. Sometimes you just got to have a fun show. You know, I've been doing serious shows for like three weeks straight. Sometimes you got to have a little fun. Hope that's okay, Felix. It's good to see you as well. So I have to sign in on uh, Incognito VPN really quick just to pull up these videos because a lot of them are actually age restricted. I don't know why, but I think my I think my channel is age restricted because I just said it's not for kids. Should be ready to go any second now. Opening it up. I don't consider Crowder wicked. I think he's a fucking cowardly pussy. I know, I'm a little, I'm angry about him though, but I don't I don't hate the guy. He's got a, a good heart. What is the most resilient parasite? Bacteria. Virus? Crowder's gay? I don't know. An idea. Resilient, highly contagious. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. He's got a beautiful wife. They seem uh, happy. They they have to they have to make kids. Be fruitful and multiply, not be fruity and blow a guy. Everyone pump this pump this up if you can still speak in that chat room. Push the Crowder bisexual angle. Crowder said he was bi. No! How many of you guys are saying this right now? He's not bisexual. There's no fucking way. Someone find me that clip. Wanna surprise me though? There's no way. Find me that clip. Somebody find that video. Guys, he's not bisexual. It was episode 390 something. Of louder with Crowder. I think this is it. I'm afraid of mistakes that this is it. Harmed others and I'm afraid that I found mistakes. it. 745. Here's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's send this out to why didn't they laugh at gmail.com. Crowder admits he's by. Get ready, folks. Oh, this one's gonna be good and sad. Those guys gotta go. Like, that's the thing is, I'm not gonna kill these guys. Everyone tell him to check his email. Everyone tell him to check his email. The Crowder proof is in his email right now. Just keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. him. He'll notice it. I want to pay off. Oh, Crowder was defending Owen, or Owen was defending Crowder as he was working there. And now he came out, you know, as this whistleblower that said, you know, people weren't getting paid enough and they were treated bad. But he worked there that whole time and said Stephen was a great guy and all that stuff. Tonight, um, someone told me to have a drink. You're now banned. Check my mail. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm already convinced he's bisexual. Just from that image. Afraid of Mr. Hyde wearing his ugly. Bisexual head, bisexual head. That was a small, that was a short face. Um, no, I'm, I'm afraid. No, that's not. He's not. That doesn't mean he's bisexual. No, he's panicking. No. Crowder's so neat, and his hair is so quaffed. <laughs> Jesus, please tell me the dude's not gay. Crowder did Rogan recently. Man, they definitely sucked each other off. Yeah, that's not. I mean, I'm now convinced that he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how quick he was able to be turned and he's turned on everybody's with except for vox because vox is a business partnership johnny arcade watched the first what's up johnny good to see you uh i didn't know how to reach you i was actually going to ask you to come on watch the first 20 minutes of owen's stream oh yeah that's on the docket that is on the docket sir good to see you 
reached out to Apex, Allen. I wanted it to be an old school affair. But I have to get out of this screen really quick. Because I can only watch certain videos. Where are we? This totally serious picture that people were messaging me that I was being egotistical. They didn't catch the sarcasm, I guess. So this all starts from a debate that they agreed on. To debate about the Trinity with some degenerate called the Crucible. And, you know, they basically just hurl insults. And then, obviously, Owen gets very personal with him. And we'll get into that. So let me see where I want to start here. Because Jim Bob did a stream today. And then also Owen did a stream today. I think Owens was on Rumble, so I'll start there. Welcome, everybody. Johnny said it's going to get ugly between them. Oh, yeah, because they've known each other a long time. The Jews... We are live. Air, the temperature here dropped like 30 degrees in like a day. So the air is like dry and cold. So if I'm like breathing weird, I'm having like a weird breathing morning. Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, John Taylor Gatto, education, and not allowing your past to define who you are right now. Okay, happy Wednesday, everybody. Hello, classic game dad bear. Coddington? <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, uh, good morning, Wobbly Bear. Coddington's still around, uh, still running defense for everything Owen does. Oh, I forgot to get the picture. Let me get it off my other telegram. Um, okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, John Taylor Gatto, education, and not allowing your past to define who you are right now. Okay? It's, it's not what you think. Okay, and we're going to talk about how our past doesn't define us. And we're also going to talk about John Taylor Gatto. Let's just kick things off with John Taylor Gatto. And I'm going to show you guys some really embarrassing photos from my past and how it doesn't matter. You just get past it. So when he says, I'm going to show pictures from my past, this is his excuse to show pictures of Jim Bob's wife. Uh, at a porn convention and other embarrassing photos of them. And then there's leaked phone calls that come out where they're, you know, Jim Bob's wife is on the phone with Owing just asking him to take the pictures with the kids down. It's going to get ugly. I, I agree with Johnny. You know, where I look like a flaming, mincing homo. And who cares? You know, because I've been getting accused now a lot that I'm attacking Jim Bob's family. And we are moving on. I promised my wife we'd move on. You are. But this is what happens to me as the guy who does this live stream. I'm just going to give a very simple and, you know, easy to explain uh, depiction of why I will publicly address these problems. I got this uh, DM this morning. Um, I used to respect you. You went full gamma. Leave a man's wife out of it. Clown. Or if it clown Reddit. I find it hilarious that when they talk, they actually use these made up terms from Vox Day. I just find that funny myself. It's right about you. I talked to him for five minutes. By the end, he said, okay, well, I get it, I suppose. Thanks for the time. I have a baby because of you. I'm glad you set things straight. Okay, so that was five minutes. Imagine if there's 100 people that are under an illusion that I'm attacking someone's family. That's 500 minutes. I don't have 500 minutes. What if there's a thousand people? That's fine. No, he would never attack the family, guys. That would just be... Owen doesn't attack people. He doesn't get personal. He doesn't even make up... He would never make up things about people. He wouldn't say you're defaming him and in the same sentence defame you. These are things Owen would never do. He is not a hypocrite at all.
Gotta wait for a Reddit video to load. Killing killin my vibe. Should have had it queued up, ready to go. Jim Bob's Nasty Wife is what it's called. Alright, let's go. Stop fucking around. allowed to ever say my name again you and your bitch wife never get to ever 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 tell anyone how to live ever again i talked to megan tonight on the phone she sucks she's really mean she cackles jim Zob bob's wife is a nasty cackling pervert she said this is our favorite porno star your wife's a dirty pervert she's gross she's always going to be gross he says that everyone who likes me is sucking my dick and I'm coming on their beard? Tell your husband to back the fuck down like a little boy he is, okay? He doesn't get to say my name. He doesn't get to live stream when I do. He's gotta take a fucking knee. He told me he's coming for me. I'm like, you jacking off, you little fucking homo? I told him to shut his bitch wife's mouth and he didn't say anything, he's a cuck. Jim Bob is a cuckold, he's a gamma cuckold. Him and his fucking pervert wife Take pictures with their baby and a porno star. Amy would never do that. You're a f No, he's gonna take it to levels, if not today, very soon. He's gonna take it to the levels of basically calling them pedos. That's where he's gonna go with it. Fucking dirty person. His wife's a dirty pervert porno addict. Your wife owns slaves in Singapore. You, Jim Bob, you get your wife off the internet and you put her to bed he has nothing on me because I'm not a liar. His wife is literally a pervert <laughs> who exposed her baby to a porn star. I have all the pictures. Don't try and get your fucking bitch pervert wife to call my wife to act like I'm attacking your family. I never attacked your family, Jim Bob. As he's attacking the family, he never attacked the family. It's classic. 5,000 minutes. So if somebody that shares some of my audience because I've promoted them for years is saying lies about me, I defend myself so that I don't lose good people. Like some people should leave. Some people don't like me. Some people listen to me and they go, that's not good stuff. This guy shouldn't have left. And he didn't. And I explained to him I'm not attacking his family. I actually sent him um, what I had originally posted. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. Okay. And my original point was don't judge people on their pasts. So when someone slanders you, like my name is my brand, my reputation, whether or not I'm trusted, whether or not I'm a liar. Well, that's been uh, tarnished uh, pretty much since you came out and tried the straight conservative thing then tried the conspiracy thing failed at both and are known as a liar grifter scammer uh all over the place and when a man with a lot of followers calls me a liar publicly if i don't address it and if i don't explain it then this happens like this guy was about to not listen to me anymore because i i originally posted the pics uh with jim bob's accusation that i was lying and I took it down because me and Jim Bob came to a, a resolution. And so now the spell that I'm attacking a man's family is permeating through some people. And I have to address it, and I don't have the time to address you one by one. And some people should trust that you aren't an evil guy by now. Yeah, but I get what, if someone says this guy's attacking someone's family, uh, that's a crazy accusation. That's really intense, okay? especially coming from someone with st uh, status in my community. I have to address it. Okay, do you guys want to do this now or do you guys want to do it after Gatto? I'll look in the chat. Obviously, everybody wants you to get to it. You guys were streaming at the same fucking time. I know that that's not my arm or neck. How do you not know that? Anyway, so I was shirtless in... <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. I was shirtless in downtown New York shooting a sketch for MySpace. All right, and so me and my buddy were taking funny pics. 
Somebody photoshopped it to make it look like I'm trans. <laughs> right? Female, to, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, like, really God, embarrassing. I go, God, that's photoshopped. And he started dying laughing. I'm like, how do you not know that that's not my arm or my hip or my neck? Don't you know my body by now, Cod? Okay, here's me drunk and weeping and crying and looking manic. Okay, there was a time when I would do... Now, he should just pull up the video of him chucking cans at the dog. That'd be a little more embarrassing. Exposing her. Now. So, this is the image of Jim Bob's wife. Now, I'm trying to get my timeline right. I'm pretty sure Owen introduced Jim Bob to his first wife a decade ago through the comedy scene. And now this is uh, a new wife that he has. This I'm pretty sure. If someone could correct me on that. This is her with an adult film star. And she's pregnant. And it says, our, fa our favorite triple X porn star that we met. So... Was it, so it was you and the baby? Like, who's our? I assume that was Jim Bob. I'm sorry. Sorry, my bad. She was so sweet and beautiful and classy. Loved her. Here is she giving Minnie a little porn star blessing. Uh, mother of the Year, AVN, which is a award show for porn. That's why I thought they attended a convention. Um, Burnett Power, AVN Awards, Post Baby Body Goals. Okay, so that's weird, right? That gets passed around. And why Why are they so mad about this? Well, they probably publicly posted it a while back, and now it seems super embarrassing for them. But you guys are all degenerates. That's the point. There's no winner in this. You guys are all liars. And when you can flip on each other this quick and have this much ammo on each other and have this much hatred towards each other, it shows that you guys were just using each other for a grift, for views, for content. And it kind of makes sense for all the other people that he's been quote-unquote friends with and then turns on them. Now I have to find the um, phone call. I think this is one that's also age-restricted. This is the wife calling Owen to take the photos down. Owen, please take it down. My wife is asking you to take down the picture of my child. Please, Owen. Yeah. Megan, your husband is going to war on me, saying I'm demonically possessed. Acting like it. No. You are stupid. Are you going to publicly apologize to me? Are you going to go on your stream and say, I'm sorry, I posted a picture of you and your children from seven years ago? Are you going to tell your wife that you posted this? Are you going to tell your wife that you posted pictures of my children in all this? You took a picture with your baby. Yeah, back in my weird liberal days. Sue me, you dressed in drag. How many... Weird Hollywood people have you fucked? Oh my gosh. All I'm asking, this is a plea, Owen. Owen, this is a plea. Please take down the picture of me and please. Take it down if your husband apologizes for saying I'm demonically possessed. I'm a liar. I'm a wizard. Fuck you guys. You guys are Bible thumping fucking hypocrites. So you're posting pictures of my child and myself on the internet. I'm getting harassed by. Really knows how to uh, exaggerate and pick it up. Uh, Johnny said uh, this video gets way better, by the way. Now, this was a clip that Jim Bob put up from his full stream today. And uh, yeah, he was definitely going at Owen, Owen going at him. But again, it, it's like. Yeah, Johnny, uh, he's, he explains how he's not wrong for 10 minutes. It's, they're all shit people. When you can say you're friends with somebody, but you keep this information stored in your head so you can instantly turn on them, I mean, that shows what kind of character you have.
by your bear perverts asking me how, how I hang out with porn stars and stuff. Neither are you. You posted a picture of my baby, dude. You have a picture of my baby on on your on your page. It's deleted. Some freak oh saved it. I posted that. That was seven years ago. I posted it seven you years ago. You actually dug up old photos so and posted young it. Young and dumb. I'm so embarrassed to that. I deleted it ages ago. You're humiliating my wife. Yeah, what's funny about that, Johnny, how he explains it's funny because he explains it like he's us exposing him. It's odd. Yeah, it was like really odd watching Jim Bob like uh promote milker nation and saying he was watching milker nation videos like that was kind of funny the other day and like saying like oh i didn't really understand vox and owen just kind of told me this term gamma i didn't really understand what it meant now i kind of like see you know hoax wars i see what these people are posting they're just making fun of owen it's not as serious as they made it out to be you you're humiliating a woman you piece of fucking garbage No, you're worse. You're worse than that. You're. I know Owen's super low, but that's the that's the clip. I can't boost him any higher. Worse. You you're worse. Everyone's gonna see this. You fucking piece of shit. No, no, not. Yeah, they are. No, I ever. I'm gonna show everyone what you're doing. You're acting like it. You just posted a picture of my child. I'm not a victim. You're. I'm asking you to not post my children. Jim Bob, you're not a victim. You're posting a picture of my children. You are a victim. I feel like I'm the only victim. My children. You're attacking are being my wife and my children, dude. Oh my dude. gosh, you're posting a picture of me on the internet. That's so. No, what I find rich about this is Owen's defense, and I don't give a shit that he posted a picture, you know, I stay away from posting a picture of people's kids, like, there's no reason to do it, but it's just so hilarious when he made up a whole swatting CPS thing, and always the claims about, you know, the family is the most important thing, these people are attacking my family, that's the Owen go-to, so when someone like uh, Jim Bob comes back at him with, like, his own style of trying to get out of arguments or trying to play the victim he like has to overcompensate for it because while this is happening they're crafting an illusion that there are these trad right-wing people here's another one I, I i blocked out the face of his baby even though all asian babies look the same and bear in mind i have to clear my name for this you can't call me a liar okay so while Jim Bob is doing right wing memes, his wife is pussy power sign with her baby. Minnie wrote her own sign. She's out of control. My daughter will grow up knowing that she is strong and capable. Nasty women, nasty baby, 2017. So am I a liar? And so why does this trigger him so much? Because any woman in the world who looks at that, says, once you have a baby, how would you use that baby for left-wing propaganda? How could you have a little baby girl and say, hashtag, nasty baby? It's fucking creepy. Okay, and I did not show that because of pride or to hurt her or his family. It's to reveal that they're lying. Well, Jim Bob was pretending to be this right wing trad comedian. That you promoted him as. You guys never talked on stream about how you met and where you knew him from. You kind of introduced him as like a neighbor farmhand that came on wearing jorts and he was based. Uh, Johnny has it perfect. Uh, Owen is guilty of everything he says about Jim right here. Yeah, he's a total hypocrite. I mean... These guys are almost one and the same. Jim Bob actually probably looked up to this guy at one point, so they have similar views on things. They're both snakes. They're both degenerates. Well, he's mocking the left and mocking, uh, you know, liberals and all that with his cartoons. His woman 
is using her baby to push feminism in the most aggressive and insane way I've ever seen. Now, would Jim Bob make fun of that viciously if it wasn't his wife? Yeah. And don't hide behind your wife. Okay, did that clean, clean everything up? They both voted for Hillary Clinton. Wait a second, because I remember Johnny posting a clip a while back of you voting for Hillary Clinton. Do I have that right, Johnny? I, I know these clips were a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure he said on one of his uh, early podcasts that he voted Democrat before he was a based black pillar. Okay, and now they're attempting to create an illusion that they're traditional uh, Christian family and that I am abusing them when what I do is I point out this shit so that people don't get caught in traps now this is some sick shit yes it is and bear in mind my original intention was to tell people to not share that okay he thought I was being oh here's a insidious picture that makes Jim Bob look really bad. And yeah, I think it's disgusting to, you know, be pregnant and go to one of these things or put pussy power over your kid. I think that's gross too. But to put it out with your platform and say, guys, here's this. Don't do anything with it. You know what you're doing. Passive aggressive. I'm not passive aggressive. We all have a past. I have photos of me looking so fucking gay and stupid that it doesn't, it's like, so why are they so upset? Like, why can't they just say, yeah, we're stupid liberals? You're the same. You were a stupid liberal. Show the ass spanking picture. Show the pictures your dad probably took when the priest molested you. Show some real embarrassing pictures. Now, we're not obviously not going to listen to this whole thing. Why can't they? Why can't they just say, like, look at me. Look at me. Look at this gay motherfucker. Not actually gay but you get what i'm saying well a little bit <clears throat> why can't i just say yeah i used to be kind of gay acting in la you want to know why because i wasn't pretending to be someone else while this was happening you know if you dig up photos of my wife at a rave or something when she's 23 she'll say yeah cringe i i was so stupid back then why can't why can't megan Simply say, yeah, that's, I'm so. It's funny because you came from Hollywood with your liberal agenda and instantly came on YouTube as some kind of conservative and then jumped to uh, conspiracy black pill guy. So you're, you're the one that's constantly playing a character. And again, this all comes from just a stupid debate about the Trinity. That's all it is. Uh, Kite Connection says, I smell a dirty Jew. Um, I think Owen's half. He'll claim a quarter. I mean, I don't... It's just a... He does this dumb thing where he just claims to be a quarter Jewish. You know. We know in his mind and his heart what he is. But has no friends. Has, has no friends. All right, let me uh, try to get some of these clips here. Because we had, we had Jim Bob do a stream. We had uh, Owen do this. Let me just find it really quick. If this is age restricted, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? And they were basically streaming at the same time earlier. Uh, thank you, Ian Will. February 22nd, 12 p.m. noon, noon time. 
Welcome to the stream, which is temporarily called the most epic stream ever. And it will be. Um, today I'm going to tell the story, the whole story. The story of, of uh, made by Jim Bob. The story of um, leaving Los Angeles, coming to... Yeah, someone said in the chat, he said he would be bigger than InfoWars. Well, that was the whole unauthorized thing, how big they were going to get. That was just to get money. That's been covered. I exposed that whole thing. Hey, what's up, RT? Good to see you. Colorado. Growing a family. My audio is humming. It, it might just be my computer heating up. I'm going to start using the uh, PC shortly. I just, I've literally been lazy and haven't hooked it up. Raising a family, abandoning uh, a liberal, nonchalant, hedonistic kind of mindset, and, and my journey toward a narrowing and ever-narrowing path. Um, I'm a couple days into fasting, headaches, demonic attacks, so... Today is, uh, I believe, is a historical stream, a historical moment in uh, not just my personal life, um, but in the... Uh, the the mic's muted, so uh, it can't be that. Um, I had the mic muted. I don't know. I have, I'm using a mic that's not going to be the mic that's going to be the one I'm using. I just have this little kind of shitty mic. Uh, the other one's hooked up to the mixer, and I just have to get the settings right, but I can't do that live. I have to listen back. So this mic is not the best for sure. But I appreciate you pointing it out. Thank you. In the sphere, in, this, in the uh, internet sphere of influence, in the, the, the spiritual wars, the cultural wars, and all of that. And so the way I want to do this is to tell a story. I met my wife in Los Angeles. We were just liberals. Thought we were like, you know, open-minded, man. Yeah, it's out to you. You know, uh, this is almost eight years ago. Uh, and then, uh, and then we were actually pregnant pretty quickly. No foundation, no church, no practice. Just kids thinking they're cool. Uh, however, that moment de definitely did uh, spark something in both of us that maybe we're, we weren't necessarily in the right spot. Uh, and that that started to kind of like showing itself more and more. We tried to hold on a little bit to like, no, no, we're cool. We're going to be the cool parents and like, you know, gay people and, you know, feminism and all this, uh, you know, open, open, open. And uh, we couldn't hold on for very long because uh, we knew – so I, I don't watch Jim Bob because of this kind of shit. I can't listen to just rambling on. Book is what kind of launched me into the sphere a little bit. Cause havoc to people who disagree with it, right? It's a two-edged sword. And um, I think if it's true and, and uh, cutting, it's going to cut both ways. So I was like in. I, I, ne I was never in. I didn't really understand. I understood the... The function of a bear name, it never occurred to me to, to call myself an animal. Uh, it did make... You didn't get verified, sir? You did not want to get verified? Now, I came up earlier that Owen is now verified as Lonely Bear. He has Vox, which is strictly financial. I can't see them being actual friends. And he has Coddington. So, he's verified as Lonely Bear at this point sense why like you know in group distinguish yourself declare a new name for yourself it's kind of like a baptism it's kind of like a counterfeit baptism um in that respect um so i understood it. I or a call totally freaked out i still understand it today it's just like but it's it's uh i think it's just a mimic of something else that we desire which i actually think is a baptism um but Nonetheless, so that all was great. 
And then it's like, okay, the next book, right? What do I do? Because this is all, the timeline is all about the content and how the content shifts and how uh, you go from the libertarian phase and then you get a little closer to, to hard right and then you can't tell if it's republicanism and you're like, what is this? And then, you, and then it pushes you to something stronger like Christianity. But then you realize there's these, this m multiplicity of Christianity, quote. So you have to sift through it. And then the truther phase. So between volume two and then like all the Karunka nonsense that facilitated two, I think two and three, um, suddenly there was the truther. That was the in introduction of Okay, I'm not going to listen to Jim Bob explain the truth community. It died uh, fucking eight years ago. Uh, there's no such thing. It's all fantastical shit that these people believe in. Uh, stupid Tartarian shit, stupid Phoenix events, Mandela effect, flat earth nonsense. That's not truth. It or rejecting it wholly, I had the opposite. As opposed to, like, Owen's take. I... I don't believe there, we have our indep independent takes. I think that a lot of the positions and arguments, especially in theology, are thousands of years old. We're just like resurfacing them and pretending that we're coming to like these things naturally. Like, oh, have you ever thought about who's praying? Who is he praying to? Yeah, yeah, it's a thousand years old. Um, so that was my approach. You know. Again, at first I thought this was a work because they got, they're getting so intense. Well, not him right now, but they're getting so intense over a fucking debate. That's what I'm called to do. Not because it's petty, because it's people. We represent something. Oh, yeah. To some degree, I don't know how to measure it, but it's there. And there's a, there's a, a responsibility. And so when we say things, when we do things, we're all responsible, including me. When I go vicious, when I go attack, when I go rhetoric to, when I go to wrathful, when I go reing, I'm responsible. In fact, this has been a, just ch a cherish. I never thought I would ultimately be using this on myself. <laughs> so, like, how good of friends were Jim and Owen? If you immediately off of the stupidest, worst debate you could possibly watch. Two people arguing about the Trinity with a degenerate named Crucible, Andrew, I don't know his fucking, whatever his name is, uh, absolute degen. Uh, you get that angry that you have to now viciously attack each other. Classic. Now again, Vox is still out there. Vox is... Uh, having his wife show up. If people go to YouTube, you can report the video. So she learned everything from Vox on that one. Remember uh, Vox's great video that he had uh, where he explained to his audience how they could flag uh, Johnny's channel, my channel, everybody's channel, gave him a tutorial, wasted a whole show on a tutorial. Right, let me just make sure I have... There's just so many different clips and things in a row here. I just want to make sure I get them kind of right here. Someone got Vox Day to review the... Uh, remember, remember uh, was it the e Groiper or u Groiper? Remember he used to make those action figures? Someone got Vox to review the Owen uh, action figure, which was pretty fucking funny. Um, I haven't seen Groiper in a long time either. I'd like to, you know, catch up with him. But it took me a while to find his a page where I could actually look at him. Like, find the uh, old action figures. Now, Milker Nation actually cut down the debate to it, to where it was watchable. You Griper. You uh, slash Griper was what it was. So I'm just going to pull this up just for a shout out really quick. And then I just have a bunch of videos of people he has uh, 
you know, turned on from your Jordan Peterson daddy, uh, Stolen Valley or Nimmer, uh, Ben Shapiro. I mean, the, the thumbnail has a lot of them in it. Someone asked why I didn't put Nimmer in it. Well, to be honest with you, I just didn't want to put a black guy in the thumbnail. If I'm being 100% honest with you, which I want to be, I just didn't want to do that. All right, let me get back to the place I was at. Slaying wizards, guys. We're slaying wizards. So I found this page called Folder, and it had uh, like 25 pics of uh, what Griper used to do. Now you guys remember these? The Big Bear, one can of Terp, one monster dildo, two goats. Remember these things? Dude, these were fucking awesome. Oh yeah, Milker Nation's great. I, I shouted them out a million times. Sing Along Bear, that whole saga we had. The Vox Day one. He should have reviewed his own. One prison letter from Dad, two Swiss bank accounts, one Bone of Thrones. I was surprised that he actually had mine on here, out of all these people. Kyle Rittenhouse. Ugh. I've given my thoughts on that one. Look at Dr. Krakow. This is when he like really got into it, upgraded, and was really doing them nice. But yeah, he gave me like a really nice one. You know, most of them were, you know, just tearing people down. But shout out to him for making it nice. This is the crew. Nathaniel, Kurgan, all these fucking degenerate retards. No, I'm trying to pull up clips because the streams are so long that I just want to get to the kind of meat of what we're doing here. Benjamin is full of shit. And I'll say it. It's like, why don't you just make a mold of your dick, Owen, and suck on it on a live stream? Because that's essentially what you do every day. He's an absolute retard, Barbara. His takes are worse than CNN headlines. Everyone's so, oh, why don't you be more gentle with him? He's the most belligerent, narcissistic fuckhead I've ever seen. You literally are like this. You're like Islam and Protestantism had a deformed baby with man tits. Are, are you an Owen friends? I don't. I wouldn't consider him a friend anymore. No. No new friends. No new friends. Now, there's only so much you can cover. Like, I don't want to give Owen too much time. I just found this hilarious. I mean, just all the people that he's, you know, had to be cut off from friendships. It's just fucking hilarious to me. Someone called it the end of an era. I, I wouldn't go that far. I'll play this Vox Day video, too, of him actually... <laughs> reviewing the owen action figure if we get the owen turn on vox publicly where it gets real ugly that would probably be the best one but that's a financial relationship so i don't see that going anywhere Uh, Fanny says, Jim Jobs staying away from Jew, I see. A lot of these religious panels or these debate channels, they never bring it up. Uh, I've offered to do Holocaust debates, anti-Semitism debates. They never want to do it. And they blame everything on Majesuits. Now we got 1.5 speed. Actually, no, there's a, one or two things I wanted to mention. Hey, Cod's here. Good evening, Cod. You know, whether it's my books, Ray, right? Hang on, I'm going to turn this on and off and see what's going on with the, um, with the sizing. Okay, it doesn't seem to be wanting to, or tedious. Um, I'll, I'll give this one a six. Uh, this is a action figure. Here's another one from the Gammas, I guess. Action figure cult series. Big Bear, Owen Benjamin. 
No, when he says the gammas, Vox Day is at a point where he literally believes. He actually believes and has written this numerous times that some people on Gamma Secret Kings, some people like myself, are actually getting paid or were in some part of were part of some federal operation to monitor him and gang stalk him. He has said this several times. He has posted things about this. This is high IQ, big brain idea of Vox Day. He believes he's being gang stalked and it's not natural. We're actually being, you know, the feds are telling us what to do. Includes one can of turpentine, one monster dildo, two goats. Uh, this is really good in terms of the, the graphics. Um, but, you know, uh, again, it's, uh, it, it crosses the line with, with the dildo. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's just putting that on there is not going to uh, turn people off to Big Bear. Um, it's just going to make people go, eh. Um, anyhow, I would, I would give this one, I would give this one a five. Should, could it? Just a five out of ten. Just a five out of ten. Someone's messaging me right now to tell me about uh, Jim, Bob, and Owen. Uh, that's hilarious. They don't even know I'm live talking about it. They're messaging me to tell me about it. That's always good. Now, I had to scour around a little bit to find some of these old videos. But Owen had many daddies along his uh, YouTube journey. Jordan was one of them, for sure. If the stream doesn't shut down immediately right now. So this girl's on the cover of sports a long time. When he was with conservatives, he talked like a him less money. I think he knows the lie is pretty obvious. Yeah, because he knows his old talking points don't work. He sexualizes his own daughter, so I won't be listening to him cry anytime soon. And this listener said, ha ha, I forgot about that. His daughter, who uh, has a Romanian pimp, literally would post pictures of her in her, her underwear on Instagram with a red light behind her. And you would see Mr. Jordan Peterson would like the photos. And then when you look at this, the history of his daughter, her battles with physical illness, mental illness, how she uses her father for fame and money, how she sexualizes her body, how he encourages it. It looks to me like there's a lot of abuse in their past. And so for him to make a stand on this. So anyway, I, I continued on saying, uh, uh, by the way, half of those quote unquote hot models Peterson used to beat off to growing up were very unhealthy on drugs and many were guys. Of all the things he could take a stand against, it's curvy women. Not a peep about the vax as he completely. It always comes back to something either gay or it comes back to some kind of pedophilia with him. Obviously, this is a projection from Owen because of his past. Account, I can handle the heat. <laughs> you go off with your gremlin and discuss how grossed out you are by women with hips, and I'll fill people in on what's actually happening in the world and what to do about it. By the way, this is the same guy who promoted the trucker rally as freedom. Him and his Agenda 2030 buddies are just mad that this woman can actually ovulate. Because I, I think one of the reasons they promote models that look like little boys is because they don't menstruate. They don't ovulate. Guys, he helped write Agenda 21 with John Podesta. Fact. Jordan Peterson worked for the UN when they were writing the depopulation agenda and how to roll it out to the public. People will act like they can't forgive me for the song that n stole my bike, which I still stand by. It's one of the funniest things I've ever written. No one asked about my bike. No one asked. About that was a, one of the funniest things you've ever written. That's completely sad. Where he is his old talking points don't work. He sexual. I just watched Peterson on the Hoover Institute. He's changed. I guess that's what happens when you listen too much of the Big Bear. You know, he cried at the end. And I wrote, he changed in what way? He said, I wasn't expecting this. He's not pushing agendas. He's pushing morality. I've been watching him a long time. When he was with conservatives, he talked like a liberal. When he was with the liberals, he acted conservative. He was saying on the show to stop lying to the kids. People are dying. Okay, I wrote, yeah, but he's zero action. He's done that for years. He promoted the vaccine a 
year ago and won't publicly condemn anything that gets him less money. I think he knows the lie is pretty obvious now to everyone, so he wants to be perceived as one of the good guys. The minute he actually gives up one dollar for truth, I'll believe him. He wrote, yeah, this show is the first time I've listened in years. He even said the good, the true, the beautiful. He's using the talking points. I said, yeah, because he knows his old talking points don't work. He's sexual sexualizes his own daughter so i won't be listening to him cry anytime soon and, this and he just he goes straight into i believe it's my opinion that he raped his daughter no did jordan peterson do that in a benzo bid binge maybe i mean it's not impossible that that could have happened but he did have him on his stream like five times and sucked his dick and loved him so there was that too again it's these people that he turns on but he promoted them all the way up to the minute he turned on them my opinion my gut tells me jordan peterson used to rape his daughter i can't prove that i'm not calling him a pedophile the odds are not 100 but i allege based on the behavior i see of him and her that there was some real spooky stuff going on in her childhood. Jordan Peterson is a sick fuck who... So this was after he had him on his podcast three times and told him how much he admired him and he basically changed his life. But, you know, same shit. The picture with Ben Shapiro's in the uh, thumbnail he was like good friends with him then obviously did the threats against him uh, that's when he thought it was cool he didn't actually know anything about Zionism or anything about Israel he just thought it was cool to talk about Jews with no context behind it uh, probably gonna wrap up pretty soon here I just wanted to kind of give a quick update on where this guy's at with literally zero friends literally no one in his corner pushed everybody away killed his dog the guy's on an absolute spiral right now but i do appreciate the pe seeing uh, a lot of people in the chat it was good to see johnny it was good to see hoax everybody good to see everybody uh i'll be back tomorrow with a more serious stream uh, i just wanted to have a quick laugh tonight uh last night's stream was really fucking good really serious but it was a lot of research and i'm having mike back on for another talk if you guys missed that about veritas and all that stuff man uh it was really good we almost had like 200 live viewers in here last night so it was a pretty good stream so appreciate all you guys let me see if there's anything else i wanted to play Everything is gone in a 10-minute phone call. And I hope you can desperately gather with your broken net the rest of the cubs swimming in your filthy moat who are willing to still suckle the teat of your fat gravy tits. <laughs> You're done. For the, those of you who are bears and fence sitting, this is the time to celebrate the removal of your tattooed name. Oh shit, taking away the slave names. And Jim Bob came out and they like to write, you don't know what our personal exchanges look like. Owen destroys relationships. That's a common theme for him, not me. It is definitely a common theme for Owen. But in the end, they're both degenerates. I would advise not listening to either one of them uh, or anyone in that community, anyone that is pushing the bullshit that they are. But love you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out here for a while. And uh, I'll be live tomorrow. So as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you want to support the show, uh, it's just cash.app slash dollar sign croco truth. I don't have any land for you, but... It is appreciated. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.
I got some needs. I need the money, like I need to breathe. I need some honest and I need the scheme. I need the W by any means. Yada da, yada da mean. Tell that little bitch that I'm out of her league. Enough is enough, and I think I'm allergic to suckers. You niggas keep making me sneeze. And I'm out for blood and I'm making them bleed. You try to run and I'm breaking your knees. I made them fall like I'm breaking the leaves. You know I ball like I blame for the lead. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. I ain't no joke, we ain't making no memes. If I pull up on them, I'm making a scene. Then I'm making them scream. Straight from the bricks, I need a lick. I drink the body since I was a jig. Nigga on lit, I cannot miss. Came from the bottom and got me a jig. Bitch, I'm a threat, I got a flex. You want the crime, but don't know what it takes. I am built different, I'm not what you think. I cannot lose, I go out with a bang. I hope you never say my name in vain. I'm with whatever, just not playing no games. I know they.